is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i want to discuss what i believe the creeper is what his origins are where i believe the entity comes from uh, so just to dive right on into the topic the creeper as we see in the film he is able to regenerate body parts that he loses by consuming the the same part from humans from the human population he hibernates or he goes into he feeds on a cycle every 23rd spring for 23 days uh this creature comes out he eats he feeds on the fear of humans he senses he's able to smell their fears I, that's one of his unique senses he's able to smell fear uh, within that capability he then decides what it is from this person in their fear that he likes he then takes that body part and he makes it part of his own his own overall uh, medicine appearance now to get into what I think he is judging from that a lot of people have said over the years that they believe he is some type of Wendigo I do not think the creeper is a Wendigo uh, I'm just gonna say it up front blatantly I believe this is like an old ancient deity that just wasn't documented because there's several there's several books that you can look up and several demons that you can look up these of course are demons that come up that have come from different lores and stuff some of them may be real some of them may be not maybe not as real as opposed to others yes but the creeper I believe he in in the world of those movies in the world of those movies I think he is just one of those entities that the folklore the folklore is overlooked he was just overlooked he is not in these books he's not mentioned he's never no one's ever talked about this entity because this is not something that was ever used to strike fear over the several centuries and the millennia that the world and humanity has been around the creeper was never discussed as opposed to something like what we see in uh hereditary with the i think it was a demon god named Payman or pagan or payment or something like that uh, and then in midsummer they were doing something else with the god but we don't ever find out what the name of that god is i believe they were trying to make sacrifices to appease the gods of uh, the creeper i think he is an ancient deity I believe or at least that's how he was perceived I feel like that's what we would find out if a new film were to come out or a TV series that dive into his origins we more than likely would find out that he had some sort of ritualistic following from people who serviced him or worshipped him out of fear they took note of what he was capable of and then to get on his good side more or less they brought sacrifices to him they they all kind of just did everything they could to save their own asses they they probably lived in an in, probably in that Poho county area that's probably one thing that i would implement into a film find out that early settlers or something from Poho county it doesn't even have to be from Poho county just have something that references to how he's been around for several years let's actually see this now instead of having a girl on the bus minxie say these things i want to actually physically see them happen on screen i believe the creeper was once worshipped by a, dozens of people probably thousands who feared him and they brought sacrifices to him and they of course didn't get anything in return except to live but that was of course enough because when you're afraid you you no one wants to necessarily die no one wants to necessarily die so when you're afraid and all you want is to live i'm pretty sure you'll do anything to live and that's what they did these people brought other people to the creeper they lived amongst the creeper for whatever reason he was the ruler of this community because he the, the creeper isn't a isn't a stupid individual as we've seen in the films he is capable of driving driving cars he he seems to understand human language or somewhat kind of understand human language he clearly has human characteristics about him so i'm assuming based on how he behaves and his mannerisms and being alive for so long of course you're going to take note of these individuals that are around you that are yes different but you can kind of use context clues to pan out what they are actually doing at the end of the day and i feel like the creeper knows a lot more about humans than what many would like to believe can he talk 
maybe it can talk i'm not really positive if, if it can i want to say it probably can it just chooses not to kind of like michael myers from the halloween series uh but that's what i would kind of like to see and that's what i think the creeper is i think he's an old deity something that's just been around for thousands of years as we've already known and at one point in time he was worshipped by a group of individuals except this stuff was just never written into uh textbooks it was never documented this is just one of the things that happened in time that was overlooked things that maybe certain people know happened but of course this is not going to be put out there for the public so maybe in the world of jeepers creepers gods demons all this stuff of course maybe there's a group of people who know that this stuff exists but they do not talk about these things and of course why no one's going to talk about the existence of gods and demons and stuff because then you'll have a society in crisis so i'm assuming some people out there of course know about the, his existence some people have witnessed it for themselves of course some have been victims some have lost people to this entity uh but something should come out in a series or or another film that dives more into that to flesh it all out uh i believe he was a deity or he is a deity that was worshipped for a long period of time several millennia and decades ago centuries ago because he is very ancient and he's just been on earth for a very long period of time he was worshipped out of fear of course and he had a following that of course fell out because i'm assuming the followers at some point tried to rebel they decided to no longer live in fear he annihilated that whole race and he's just been doing whatever it is he's been doing ever since then uh let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below do you kind of like that what are your thoughts on what the creeper is let me know down in the comment section in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram uh you can message me there to let me know if you have any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video